first comment. This is the first cruise that Bougainville, Bougainville has taken since September of 2020, and I sure hope everything speeds up a little bit. At this rate, it's going to be midnight before we go to bed. These are the always available Caesar salad, Panat salad, burger, ribeye, gyros, or gyros. They always have that. That's great for one night. French fries, etc. Tonight's specials here soups. I always bypass the soup unless I know I'm going to starve to death. May I? We've got Cote de Rhone and a Bordeaux tonight. Um, for, for starters, there's an avocado crab meat mango with curry oil. I am having that. that, that's for sure. There's also some of the eggs, potato, truffle, carpaccio. Then there's quinoa cooked with radishes. Main course is sauteed shrimp and artichokes with olives. Supreme of poulet, po chicken, uh, vegetable <coughs> cook pot, elbow pasta, the sauteed shrimp with artichoke. Maybe I will do that. Here is to a great cruise. Steve automatically flipped to the back, and every night they have a selection of cheese, fromage, and desserts are creme brulee, chocolate soft cake with ice cream, which is basically lava cake, panna cotta, mango and orange coulées, a selection of glass a sorbets, which is ice cream and sorbet. You can read that. Yum, yum, yum. This is an amuse of matcha, and Steve already did a big ew on it. He did not like it at all. Starter, I dug in because it's already 9.30, which may not sound like a lot to you, but we do have jet lag. And we've been sitting here for one hour and just got our starter. Or even the chef is pitching in, but I just want to eat and go to sleep. Here's my steak with sauce, mashed potatoes, and veggies. I just want to taste everything. Side note, I just found out that the mon manager d'hotel, or the woman in charge of everything, I mentioned that we were on a Ponant ship that hit a rock two years ago. She was on the same ship. She said, we will talk about it. What a disaster that was. They expedited our lava cake with ice cream in record time. The ice cream is really, really good. They probably stole somebody else's dessert. I will, so we can work our way around, or do we come back this way? No. That's what that's like. I might have two orange juices. I like that. Okay, this point. That's a smoothie if you want it. What? A smoothie. Yes, want to take a smoothie too. Thank you. And walking around this way, you have to keep walking. The poor waiter follows you. Here's smoked salmon. Your cold cuts, soy milk, soy milk, soy milk. I don't know yet. Um, is that is this the only kind of yogurt? Yeah. Could I have um, more brioche? More bacon. This is the pre-made. The eggs, baked beans. But yes, we are. Thank, Thank you. you so much. The blueberries and pineapple in particular are wonderful. I know I keep showing my half-eaten food, but I forget about videoing. I'm the French toast is much better than the eggs benedict, in my opinion. My opinion is only. Today is Greek tea time. I don't know how Greek a club sandwich is, but... Baklava, sure is. It's the same Greek yogurt and just chocolate pie, I guess. And that looks like lobster to me. There are just a few of us down here. Calls the antisocial group. Well, you saw the lobster, the homard. We're going to have the veal grenadine with mushroom crumbs and artichokes and truffle. It is the same food as you're serving in the other restaurant. And the chocolate tart, ice cream, vanilla rice pudding. The amuse tonight is a salmon tartare. I dug out a spoonful to show you. Little, some little caviars. I wasn't kidding.
if you see something that you like, you go for it. Two lobsters. This is my intact piece of veal. And you can see Steve's already slashed into his and it's done beautifully. I wanted to sample their cheeses. And the ice cream is stuck over there in that aluminum looking thing. You would help yourself go scoop, go help yourself to umpteen desserts, cheese. Ah, uh, well, not complaining, just that's the way it was, way back when. We don't usually do lunch, but we came out here for some water after, the, after being on shore, and they've got crab legs and shrimp. So, here we are. I asked for one scoop of mango, he gave me three, and I want to taste the apricot, roasted apricot blanc mange. Yes. A beef, a salmon, hello, and a swordfish. Salmon tartare with wakami algae. I mean, when you just read things, you think, ew. And this one is the swordfish carpaccio. This little video of the desserts. Uh, chocolate and red berry shortbread. Uh, strawberry shortcake. Fruit. Ew. Pineapple carpaccio. The pineapple has been excellent. For my entree, I'm going to have the duck breast with pink pepper, creamy polenta, though polenta is not my all-time favorite, and caramelized corn. That is what I call a huge duck breast. It's more like they shot a crane. And I asked for mashed potatoes instead of the polenta. I heard the chef say that there's maracuya in it, which is passion fruit, one of my favorites. So I had to try both. That and the fruit tart. Today's tea time is all chocolate. My absolute favorite tonight, pate de foie gras. Yum, yum, yum. Sushi. And another favorite, tuna tataki. I, love, I like everything. Baba a rum with exotic fruit. I love the salad. No, it's an apricot tart. And there's also a pear and chocolate tart. And this is our table, a nice big reserve. And a 10 on it. My birthday is the 10th of January. Since Ridiculous U.S. bans foie gras, I am having two of them tonight. I'm knocking myself out. The pork with sweet potatoes and a broccoli with garlic. Steve got all four flavors tonight. Baba a rum. I, I mean, I am stuffed to the gills, but got to try it. If you are not familiar with the Baba a rum, it is cake that is soaked in rum. Now, how can anything like that be bad? When we were walking back from the beach today, we passed a field and there were a bunch of bahs in it. And I said, you know what? They have not served lamb yet. And voila! Tonight there's lamb loin. And an octopus style Greek salad, apple tart, sliced fruits, chocolate mousse, a klafudi, which looked pretty darn good too. Everything has been so excellent. Some sort of carrot concoction. Steve says it's tasty. Once I tasted it, it's ginger. Really tasty. Great looking octopus salad. Lamb tenderloin and potatoes anna with roasted chestnut. You take a look at what they've got set out here. Oh, look at those. A fruit party. My sister's name is Sheila. Her name is Sheila too? Yeah, she's an artist. The chicken is served with roasted bok choy and mushrooms. And I'm going to have two starters because I love avocado and shrimp and I love duck 
foie gras, but I am not going to have dessert. <laughs> a closer look at the duck pate in a creme brulee. We both agree that the duck foie gras creme brulee mix is beyond wonderful. Really beyond wonderful. I don't know. When I make chicken at home, my chicken sure doesn't look like this. Well, that was a very big surprise. We went down to the grill expecting to have dinner there as usual and found out there's no dinner in the grill tonight, which is fine. So we're up in the um, Nautilus restaurant. I keep forgetting which one is Nemo and which one is Nautilus. Finding Nemo! Tonight it's a Margot, Chateau Marquis de Moine, Margot 213. It is the Nautilus restaurant, Le Nautilus. There's Pacho, then a cold starter of crab tartare, a lot of roasted scallops, then Rossini scale beef, tenderloin, mashed potatoes, and a chocolate sauce. That's interesting. Dessert is coconut passion fruit and lime. How bad can it be? I was just informed that they bring all the courses. Thank you. Primarily, whether you want them or not, I, I said I didn't really want gazpacho. Oh, madam, please try it. It's like, fine. This is the crab coal starter. Looks pretty darn good. Well, I think this is worth waiting for, Rudy. This is. It looks wonderful. Beautiful. Thank you, Rudy. The trouble with any of these gala meals is they serve each course to the 150 people that are in it before they get to the next course, which I absolutely despise. It's like, let me eat my meal. And go to sleep, please, please, please. I love that one. Nice and sweet. Tell me when you're sick of hearing about the food. Okay, starters. Chilled asparagus and goat cheese with honey mousse. Sounds wonderful. Uh, sweet and sour salmon carpaccio, beef tataki. Main courses are halibut, filet, and olive crusted pork loin with tomato marmalade and gnocchi. And then there's always a vegetarian, which is pumpkin pear red onions. They change up the ice cream every day. Tonight is dolce de leche, apricot, mango, yogurt, creme brulee, and a thin apple tart with caramel or caramel ice cream. Oh gosh, decisions, decisions. Kali flour cream and truffles. And that's the beef tataki. This is what the pork line looks like. I'm telling you, for me, they cook all their meats perfectly. Never, never well done. What I like about this chef's creme brulee is you can see how thick the coating is, all that wonderful oozing caramelized sugar. Yum, yum, yum. Steve and I had such an early breakfast this morning at 7 a.m. because of the 9 a.m. excursion that we're treating ourselves to just a Caesar salad with chicken and a really excellent white Bordeaux. It, really good. It's only when I drink something like this that I realize how inferior my two buck chuck is. The amuse tonight is a green and yellow zucchini. And they whipped the menu away from me, but it's beef filet with mashed potatoes in a burgundy sauce. They grill their meat so perfectly, at least for me. Not a dried out hunk anywhere to be seen. The people at the next table are eating the gyros. Looks really, really good. They have an abbreviated menu tonight. There's a scallop tartare with caviar, avocado, and green apples. 
and then a lobster cook pot or a chicken filet stuffed with foie gras. We opted for the lobster main course. Lobster in a pot, it was called. For my last onboard ship dessert, I'm going for the exotic rice pudding. It, it looks very mango-y. Actually, the turndown snack, do you want to call it? Let's see what's in it. One big something or another. I am stuffed from... It's okay. Nothing great. I would have been happy with a little macaroon.